What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're heading out to Hirschfelden and we're gonna hunt geese. So I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to purchase, set up, and hunt these awesome Canadian geese. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do if you would like to hunt for geese is to purchase this DLC pack and it's called the Wild Goose Chase Gear Pack. And it comes with the 20 gauge Strecker shotgun, the green and red illuminated fiber optic sights for your shotgun, your goose decoys, and of course your incognito deluxe layout blind so that you can sit right on the ground and pop right out and shoot those geese without them seeing you. So let's have a look at these decoys. So it does say that the maximum effect is at 20 decoys. So you don't wanna put down more than 20, you're just wasting them. So there are three different kinds. We have the feeding, the searching, and the sentry. You can just mix them up. I don't even know if it matters if you use them all. As long as you have 20, I think you're good to go. But yeah, you're gonna need to buy four packs of those. And even though you've purchased this awesome DLC pack, you still have to pay for them. They're $4,000 each. So that's gonna cost you 16,000 for one setup in decoys. Then the next thing you're gonna need is the Short Read Canada Goose Collar. And this collar has a range of 500 meters, which is pretty amazing. It has an attraction strength of 40. And so this is what you're gonna to use to try and get those geese to come into you. So you're definitely gonna need that. And each time you call, it's gonna last for 25 seconds. And the Goose Chase DLC also comes with this Incognito Deluxe Waterfowl Blind, but you do still have to purchase it and they are $8,000 each. They have an 80% visual camouflage rate, which is pretty awesome. The other option you have is to hunt for geese out of a tripod. This is something I do really like to do. Tripods are expensive, 16,000 each. Let's head out and hunt some of these geese. And if you stick around right to the end of the video, I will show you a map outlining the three of my very favorite locations for setting up for geese. And I will post that to my Discord as well. All right, we have some geese. We have a level four. I'm using the 22. So I'm gonna use a few different shotguns in this video just to show you some different options. And I always have the 22 with me. I am leading the shot trying to shoot just a little bit ahead of the goose so that it is flying into my shot. You don't want to aim straight at them, just a little bit ahead. And I just keep shooting at them until they disappear or they drop. One or the other is going to happen before I'm done with that goose. And you have 10 shots, then you have to take, we got them. Then you have to take a second and reload and then I just keep, keep on firing. If the goose takes a shot from the 22, it will die. It will drop and die. If you get a couple pellets into it with a shotgun, it will not necessarily die. It's not enough to kill them. They are very big birds. And this guy is a gold 7.5. Pretty nice Canada goose. I do have one diamond goose in all the time that I have played this awesome game. Just one. I have not done a ton of goose hunting. I mean, I have in the last few days. But really, once I got my diamond, <laughs> I kind of moved on. But I'm having a lot of fun hunting these geese, so it is something I plan to do a lot more of. Oh, and I wanted to mention a couple of things. If you are going to use a tripod, those are part of a different DLC that is part of the tripod and tree stand DLC. And I am using the 22 rifle. There is also a 22 handgun. We got that guy. Which is awesome for shorter range and I would highly recommend using the handgun if you need to level up your handgun score but otherwise I like to use the rifle the 22 rifle just because it gets way more distance I can get them way further off and this guy is the gold he's a 7.1 level 3 and we did get this guy with the 22 from 207.21 meters goose hunting is a phenomenal way to make cash or to level up if you're a low level character and you need to get to level 60, this is a great way. And another level four. Haven't seen a five yet. We're gonna use the shotgun here. And that hit him, but he hasn't dropped health yet. Now he's starting to, but we'll give him another one. And down he goes. Now, a lot of people like to hunt with the shotgun without a scope for geese or using the illuminated sights. That can be awesome. I like to use a scope. I don't see that well. 7.2 this guy, another really nice gold. And I got him both 
times with the shotgun, so... You can only hit them twice. If you do take a third shot on them with the shotgun, you will not get full score on it. And the first thing I do when these geese come in is try and spot all of them. I'm looking for a five or one that doesn't look like the others. I'm looking for a red. And that guy looks a little different. And we got him. So he should drop. You have to get more than just a couple pellets into them. We put a second shot into him and he definitely dropped. And I'm actually using a different gun here. I thought I'd try out the Grillic Drilling Rifle. This is a pretty cool gun. You can switch it to be a rifle or a shotgun. It is also a 16 gauge, only has two shots, but it comes with a scope. And this is a brown hybrid. This is a rare variation. Probably the most common one. I have seen quite a few of them, but they are really, really pretty. And they definitely look different from all the other geese. So that's our first rare. And here comes some more. I am finding that it is taking me quite a bit of time to get these geese in. So I'll sit and edit on my iPad and wait for them to come in and it's taking a long time. And that's three. I'm pretty good with the 22. Not quite as good with the shotgun. I am getting better, but I am pretty good with the 22. So let's go have a look at those three. Yeah, if you can take a whole bunch of these guys out, they pay close to a thousand each, which is pretty nice. There's another brown hybrid. Like I said, these guys are pretty common. Just a silver for this one. But we got three at the same time. That's pretty sweet. This guy is a silver. I am seeing a lot of low level geese. That's for sure. Still great for cash. I've had a few fours come in. No fives yet. And that guy is a silver as well. And he's going to pay us $942. Not too bad. And let's head back. So I sit here, I put out a couple calls, and I wait patiently. And then I spot absolutely everything. Usually I wait for them to land, and then I will start shooting the closest ones, or the biggest one. If there's nothing special there, I'll just start shooting the closest ones. I start with the shotgun, and right now I have just purchased... The 12 gauge with six shots. This is an awesome gun. Loving this shotgun. It is by far my favorite of all of them. But I had to level up my shotgun score to get it. And I just purchased it this week. So we're going to take it for a run right now. So we have a three and a two. Usually when they come in, the biggest I'm seeing most of the time is a three. I heard a, a guy told me he had two fives fly in on him yesterday. Some people get all the luck. I'm hoping for a little bit of that luck very soon, but none so far. So I'm just going to be patient, wait for these guys to land or get really close to me. And we'll see if we can do some damage. So look at that. Six shots. That's pretty sweet. Always aim ahead of them, leading the shot. And fly in. Good shot. That was good. Sometimes I'll hit them with the shotgun, but they won't start to drop and I'll have to follow it up with the 22 shot. So I always have my 22 right next to my shotgun. I am on Xbox, so we have to move over to the next rifle to gain access to it quickly. It's a little bit different from PC, but I do have my 22 nice and close right after the shotgun. So I can grab it real quick. Always make sure you have lots of ammunition on you. You don't want to run out. You are going to go through a lot of 22 bullets while you're hunting these geese. As you can see, a lot of those shots are just going to fly up and not hit anything. You're just hoping for that one good shot. And I just keep on firing until they vanish or drop. We got them. We got them. And sometimes it's fun to see how far away the furthest you can get them out of the sky how far that distance is and try to beat your your distance so far i have got one that's just over 300 meters away which is a pretty nice shot with the 22 and look at this i, I have european rabbits right beside my goose setup well i have my shotgun handy let's go see these rabbits i gotta pass them to go pick up my goose anyway so we might as well take out a couple if we can i don't know if we can get two 
They're definitely working, and as soon as you shoot one, if you don't get two at the same time, it might be tough to get a second. Let's try. They're so cute. So if I can get them together, or else I have to take two really fast shots. Let's see. Oh, we got him! Nice! Put in a second shot, just in case. I always forget about the delayed reaction with these bunnies. They seem to take a second or two to die. I shouldn't have reloaded my shotgun there. I should have just shot. But live and learn, right? Now I hear one. There's another one around. I can hear it. Where are you? No. Nope. All right. I think one got away. But we did get two. That guy's a silver. And we got a gold. That guy has a trophy of two. He took quite a few pellets, didn't he? <laughs> For such a little bunny. Let's head out and find our goose. Here he is. And he's a silver. And we got him from, nice shot, 300 330.27 meters. Pretty decent shot. We'll take that one. That is our furthest so far. See if I can't beat that distance today. And this guy, another brown hybrid. That's our third one just in the video. I have shot more than that, but he's a gold. 7.1. That's a pretty nice one. So we're going to taxi that guy, put him in the lodge, and we're going to head back. So I set up a tent at all my goose locations. I do have three setups on my map. I am going to show them all to you guys in just a second. We're almost at the end of the video and you guys can head out and set up. If you'd like, you can try my locations. I will show you guys my very favorite one, but now I am in the goose decoy. We're going to try that out right now. And I have one solo guy in the field, just a three. Got him. I always watch to see if their health's gonna drop. It is gonna drop. The only thing about these these layout blinds is that I can't move anymore. I'm stuck there, so I have to turn. Where'd my goose go? Where does he go? He's gonna drop. Where is he? There he is! <laughs> Well, I didn't expect him to drop that close, but that was kind of funny. This guy's a silver. We managed two shots into him with the 12 gauge shotgun, Cacciatore. And that is an awesome, awesome shotgun. And we're going to look at the map for my decoy locations right now. So as I mentioned before, guys, I will post this to my Discord and I will leave the link below the video. These are my three locations where I hunt for geese. The one that I have circled in yellow, that's my very favorite. I tend to get geese in there a lot faster than the other spots. I have had them set up in different locations that didn't work so great, but that's what I'm working with for right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't done so yet, please drop a subscription, and I hope to see you guys for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. You guys take care.